And welcome back to In the Can. We are here with a whole bunch of people, and apparently they really like each other. <laughs> uh, we're all just nice and crowded on the couch here. Uh, we're going to be talking about Ping Pong Summer, which is, uh, I'll be honest, it's one of the ones I really want to see personally, just that whole homage to the 80s thing. We're here with uh, uh, Michael Tully, the director. Uh, we've got Marcello Conti. We've got Emmy Shockley. We've got Leah Thompson. Everybody is here. And uh, it's, you know, you guys have your premiere in like an hour. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and we got places to be. You're like the first director that's really excited to go to their premiere. We were talking about this right before we came I'm in. I'm kidding. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. You, no. it, it, sometimes it can be a bit of a thing to, to see a film for the first time in front of an audience, and I think that's the case for you guys, right? Are we mm -hmm. are we seeing it for the first time in front of an audience? Yeah. yeah. We did have a private cast and crew screening to help out um, in Maryland where we shot the movie, so mm -hmm. the kids have seen it, but it was I think that was a shock to the system to process because like Mark had never been in a movie before, right. so yeah. it was just like I didn't. Want to spring that on you guys <laughs> here in this because it could just like create some hospital runs or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're not doing anything to help these people, by the way. I mean, you're supposed to be caring about your actors. You're not, you're not, you're not giving a safe place even for this interview. That's okay. Well, let's let's talk about it a little bit because I know this film for you is something you've been working on for a long, long time. It, it is actually borders on biopic for you. Tell us a little bit about the movie. Yeah, it's set uh, in Ocean City, Maryland. I grew up in Central Maryland and went on vacation w once a week every year with my parents. They were really fiscally responsible. Mm -hmm. We never got on an airplane, never went skiing because skiing was way too expensive. Okay. So it's just like once a week we would drive two hours, which felt like driving to California to go to Ocean City, Maryland. And this movie is my attempt um, just to sort of a love letter to that era in my youth and combining a, you, all those 80s movies. I would go to the theater and watch The Karate Kid, mm -hmm. but then I'd go back in my car and put the fat boys on and my mm -hmm. Walkman, and I wanted to just sort of fuse the two. So, and our goal here with the production was to make a movie that felt like a lost movie. It wasn't like h hindsight humor where we're like, right. weren't the 80s funny? Like, yeah, they were really weird and funny. They weren't um, funny when I was in them. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you that right now. The pictures are a little strange, but yeah, so we tried to make a movie that felt like a present day 1985. A lot film, if you will, which gets a little complicated when you have Leah Thompson in your movie and you're like, wait, uh. You know, I was going to ask that because, you know, Leah, I mean, we all grew up with you and, and gosh, I don't know how many films. You know, a back, lot. Back in, back <laughs> in I've been years. around for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I, you know, my first thought was, is, is, you know, Leia obviously is an accomplished actor, but at the same time, was there any kind of hindsight humor in, in casting Leia as the mother? No, I think the thing with, with especially a performer like Leia is, you, of course, there's the recognition, and it's great for the movie. It makes mm -hmm. it feel like a real movie inherently. Right. But I think what, what makes her such a great actress is there's nothing that she was doing in the performance that was hindsight humor. It's just her right. face and her expressions. She didn't have a ton of dialogue, but the expressions will make you laugh out loud. So it's bringing an actor who is not resorting to anything by that. She's still a great actress right now in 2014. Um, so I was trying to work on both of those fronts. Of course, there's that recognition and the comfort level of just like, yeah, I watched all those movies in the 80s. Right. But then you're just watching a great comedic actor do their thing. But the weird thing is I don't look any older. <laughs> you really don't. <laughs> you don't. You really don't. And it's don't, true. Don't. Oh my gosh. You actually don't. <laughs> and all these flashbacks of going, I've grown up with you. Right? I mean, come on. The it's problem just... is I still have the same 80s hair. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. There's okay. nothing wrong with it. I, I want to talk a little bit to the people who weren't even alive in the 80s. Oh. Uh, Marcello, was this, first of all, you, know, you, you play a character who is obsessed with a, a number of things. I mean, it's kind of a coming of age thing, but you play ping pong. Yeah. I mean, the whole idea of ping pong summer. Did you play ping pong before the movie? Is that, did well, you have to go method on this, or yeah. what did you, uh, what I did mean, you do? I had slight experience with ping pong, but I mean, I was less than an amateur and really not good at all so yeah. we went and we did like training and stuff like that but we I mean, did boot camp yeah it was, was it, it was real fun was yeah. it part of the audition process no, that would be it was the really about audition in the world. Just put your signs aside and just pick up the Ping pong skills had nothing to do with the casting. It was okay. all about finding the right person and then trusting. And we did a week. It was like a two-day full-on yeah. boot camp with mm -hmm. Jimmy Pelletier, a great. He plays a skateboarder in the movie. He was like a b-boy skater ping pong guru, right. which is like for this movie, you're like, there's a human like that on Earth. Perfect. Yeah. We need your help. Well, and that probably added to your character development too, because again, I mean, you, you were talking about kind of how you grew up, but you are one of those kind of hip hop. You know, listen to a lot of Run yeah. DMC, Beastie Boys, and playing ping. <laughs> Pong and I mean, yeah. meet new friends and right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was real cool. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you like to hear from your actors, right? I mean, tell me about your process a little bit. I mean, uh, uh, what, what drew you to this project and what was exciting about it? Well, I mean, I actually live in Ocean City, Maryland. I'm born and raised there. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously I'm drawn to it because not only is it I go really, it was a really awesome script and as soon as I read it, I was just like, it was awesome. But yeah. it's also a tribute to my hometown, which made it even more cool. Uh, so, so a lot of people brought a lot of personal experience to this, right? Yeah. We did, when I got the email from Emmy out of the blue, we had done our first casting session. We were going around the state of Maryland doing, one of our producers produced, as a producer on Beasts of the Southern Wild, mm -hmm. and we did the grassroots casting for a lot of the kids. And we did an Ocean City, and I guess it was April or May, and then a couple weeks later, I was back in Brooklyn and got an email from someone who said, I missed your audition. I wasn't in town, but I heard about this movie. <laughs> and she sent a picture, and my wife and I were just like, that looks like Stacey summers and then we <laughs> skyped I was like we need to have a Skype session but I made sure my wife came home from work well I don't and, and tell be everybody Stacy Stacy Summers <laughs> Stacy Summers is the sort of uh, the dream boat of Ocean City Maryland who hangs out at the fun hub and um, as you can see Emmy was perfect for yeah. the part and was, and also wanted to be an actress has been doing a lot you've been going to camps and doing a lot of stuff right? yeah I've been training since I was young but this is my first big so this is a, your first feature for both of you, right? Yeah. 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 Good. And and Leia, this is your 814th. Is that, <laughs> yeah. is that correct? Yeah. Do you know. Correct. Do you know what it is. Do you know what your feature? Count How many is? films have you made? No, probably like 40. That's a career. That's, wow. that's, a, that's an excellent career. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then that. a million TV. Yeah, but think think if back in the 80s you were able just to email a director, right, and just say you didn't see my audition. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, I, been should nice. Try, I should try that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. Well, I'm glad we were able to give you some advice. Thank uh, you, you very know, much. As, as, you, as you work toward a career. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> hey, the film is called Ping Pong Summer. Uh, it actually uh, premieres in like an hour Our here on the first Sunday. Saturday of yeah. uh, the Sundance Film Festival. Good luck with that. It should be a great experience you're going to do a q a and all that stuff oh after yeah and we have okay. treats for the crowd who asks questions i think so hurry right. up everyone get there well good luck to you make sure you see that's one of those must-sees here at sundance we'll be back with more in the can after this